Hello, welcome to Roanoke Hobby and Electronics. My name is Daryl, and today we're going to talk about ESP8266 Made Easy. This chip is a very popular, inexpensive way to add internet uh, Wi Fi access to your project. And uh, when it first uh, showed up on the market, um, probably a little more than a year ago, the uh, entry level was a little bit difficult. Uh, there wasn't much documentation, um, but that has been um, improving and getting to a point now where it is not much trouble at all to uh, to use this chip. And uh, originally, um, we'll take a look at it here. Originally, it was just mostly thought of a way of adding uh, Wi-Fi to your project, but the uh, the ESP8266 chip um, on the board here is uh, actually very capable, uh, can be programmed, uh, has GPIO um, ports that you can use, and um, is uh, growing uh, ever more popular as a as a um, microcontroller board for your project. And um, part of what has been making it easier is there are um, more adapters being made that uh, make this a little uh, easier to use in your project, especially uh, when breadboarding. Um, as you can see, the uh, the pins on the uh, on the board, and this is the ESP01, the the most popular um, model. Uh, the pins are what you would call uh, breadboard friendly, um, but by using an adapter like so, and now uh, it's going to break out all the pins here that can be plugged into the uh, breadboard. And this particular model, and uh, I'll put a link uh, to where um, this is being sold on Tindy.com uh, on the blog um, has uh, built-in voltage regulation um, uh, handy reset switch which I'll show a little bit later uh, why that's so useful and um, the big thing is going to be um, the voltage regulation in the adapter it's going to help protect the board. Uh, the ESP8266 is a 3.3 uh, volt uh, logic and uh, if you're using this with an Arduino, something that's 5 volts, um, you're either going to have to use an adapter like this that uh, steps the power down or you're going to have to add that to your circuit uh, on your breadboard to um, to drop it down to the 3.3 volts. And the other component uh, we're going to look at here um, to uh, connect to and program the ESP8266 uh, over serial, um, it's nice to have um, a USB to serial adapter here and this is the FTDI friend by Adafruit got the uh, USB mini port and uh, the FTDI chip and a nice um, nice way to just plug in. Um, this adapter also has a version with the male pins or female so when you when you buy the adapter you can specify um, which one you want. So let's uh, let's talk about the ESP8266 a little bit. Um, kind of the pros and cons. Um, the first thing is is this it's the least expensive uh, microcontroller out there right now. Uh, typically uh, between three to four dollars, and um, with the uh, Wi-Fi built in, uh, makes it quite the bargain. Uh, Downside of that, um, there are some. There's been some reports of lower quality 
uh, product out there in the market, uh, particularly uh, one one post I saw saying that the LEDs burned out because uh, the, the board didn't have the right uh, resistor, the right value for the resistor, allowing the LEDs to burn out. So that's uh, that's one little gotcha there. Um, and again, it, it goes back to um, get what you pay for. If you see something um, like less than three dollars, um, you might might wonder um, your level of quality. Uh, the, on the pro side, um, this uh, this chip has multiple ways uh, of being configured. Uh, it's got multiple uh, mo uh, modules and configurations. Uh, the ESP01 is the one that we're looking at today, but there's there's other there's other models that are um, surface mount um, and uh, expose more of the GPIO pins, um, and that's so on the con side. Then um, some of the other models are are just like the ESP01, not breadboard friendly. Uh, the ones that um, are surface mount are a little harder to work with, um, so that's just uh, some things to take into consideration. Which uh, which model do you want to use for your project? Uh, the multiple modes of programming, um, connecting it to it um, serially, and uh, opening up a uh, serial console window to uh, issue. Uh, commands. Um, there's the um, node MCU was another way of programming the uh, the ESP8266, um, and that's so that's also on the con side. There's like there's different there's multiple ways of programming it. So um, just a little bit of a learning curve and picking um, the best way. Uh, for your project. Uh, what we're going to look at today is uh, um, you can actually program the ESP8266 with the Arduino IDE and uh, we're, go we're going to go into a little bit of detail but uh, so then you can definitely uh, make it uh, more user-friendly by using the uh, Arduino IDE to uh, program program this uh, board, and uh, the biggest pro, it's got uh, built-in Wi-Fi 802.11 B, G, and N. The downside, um, the power requirements for Wi-Fi um, may exceed um, your uh, your project boards. Uh, specifications for 3.3 volts so you may have to provide a separate uh, power supply to uh, have adequate power for the Wi-Fi so not uh, not a major uh, downside but just something to take into consideration so so let's let's take a look at um, programming with the Arduino IDE um, we're going to go up here to File, Preferences, and uh, since uh, version 1.6.4, uh, I think, um, you can uh, add additional board manager URLs to, uh, to your preferences. And here you can see I've added the URL for the ESP8266. So um, once you've you've added that in, you go up here to tools and board and uh, scroll down and you're going to see um, and I can't quite get it on my uh, screen capture here, but it's the generic ESP8266. Um, let's see what we can do about that there. Well, anyway, I don't want to waste time on that, but you can see that it, it is now available um, now that I've added that to the board manager. And um, 
some of the documentation that I saw, it says uh, uh, for the um, ESP8266 to go to programmer and switch to the uh, ESP tool for the programmer. Uh, it's not available on the menu here, but um, what I have discovered is that it goes ahead and uses the correct programmer automatically so you don't have to actually manually set that yourself. So we have some other uh, configuration options. Um, I'm just going to go with all the default settings um, that we already have. So we need to uh, start plugging some things in here. And uh, get uh, hooked up here so we can uh, actually program it. I'm going to plug the, the ESP8266 into the adapter. I've got the FTDI friend that uh, we're going to plug in. And uh, you can uh, let me switch here so it's a little easier to see. Um, on the adapter, you can see uh, there's ground, and uh, we're matching that up with the ground here on the FTDI friend. Uh, so we're making the, the correct connections here. Uh, transmit to receive, receive to transmit, um, and everything else is already um, properly connected. Um, before you had an adapter like this, uh, you would have to run jumper wires to your pins and um, make sure everything's hooked up. And then I've got my uh, USB uh, mini. We're going to plug it in and uh, we're going to see the uh, we have a little red light on there showing that uh, we do have some we do have power um, the rest of what I've already got here we're just we're just going to do uh, a blink and LED so um, I've got a jumper wire from the GPIO 2 off of the uh, off the board to uh, the positive side of the LED and then running a resistor a 220 ohm resistor then to ground and I've also got another jumper here uh, connected to ground and I'm going to show you here in a little bit um, why we need that but we'll uh, jump back here to the IDE and uh, we'll start um, start putting in some code here and here in the uh, in the setup loop we're going to um, And I could just uh, specify the pin, but we're we're going to go ahead and define a uh, a variable name. We're going to call it ESP eighty two sixty six LED, and we're going to set that to output and to uh, make that work correctly we're going to define that and GPIO 2 is going to be pin number 2 go down here to our loop segment and uh, 
just like we do for the uh, Arduino we're gonna digital write and make it high to turn the LED on we're gonna wait half a second and then change it to low to turn the LED off and we're going to save that and I'm just going to verify and compile make sure I don't have uh, a glaring uh, typo in there and it compiled successfully so we're okay there so we're going to jump back to um, close-up view and um, explain then what I needed this extra jumper wire so to uh, to be able to write to the board we need to connect uh, the GPO zero to ground so that's why I have the other side of this jumper cable set to ground and uh, the other thing um, that what makes uh, this particular adapter so handy is he uh, included a reset button because what you have to do is uh, connect uh, GPO zero to ground and then uh, reset the board or unplug it so having the uh, reset switch just makes that a little easier so now it's it's in the correct mode So that uh, if I click on there, now it is going to load and um, you'll start seeing the lights flashing as it writes to the board. So that is, uh, explains the, uh, the ground, the extra ground wire and the reset switch. Um, so that makes it very handy here with this adapter and uh, once it finished loading um, as you can see we were successful we are now blinking the LED so that's going to wrap it up for uh, for this episode um, I will be sure and add some links on uh, ronokabi.info um, to where uh, you can find uh, that particular adapter board and um, and a link to uh, to get the FTDI friend. Uh, there are several of the um, USB to serial adapters out there on the market. In fact. Uh, on the uh, on the website where they they sell that adapter they also give you the option to add a USB to serial um, adapter also and then um, they also give you the option to go ahead and buy an ESP 8266 while you're at it so uh, you, you could buy the whole thing uh, just in one place and uh, and away you go so um, thanks for visiting, and um, be sure and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to uh, um, keep, uh, keep track of uh, new videos as we add them. And uh, stop by ronokabi.info and uh, check out the blog. So thanks for visiting, and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be getting some more videos out uh, um, out here soon so look forward to uh, working on some more projects